bedroom lamp pillow cot cradle cupboard clock kitchen sink dustbin stove grinder mixy plate our sweet home in this lesson they have given us four rooms and the first room is a bedroom and in the bedroom you can see clock a cupboard cot pillow lamp and cradle now as the kids are at home you can take your child to the bedroom and go through whatever is there in the bedroom and either they can point it out or they can say it orally coming to the kitchen we can see a sink dustbin a grinder plates mixy stove bring your child to the kitchen when you are cooking but make sure the child is under your supervision and you can go through whatever is there in your kitchen and ask the child to help you out if possible bathroom mirror wash basin soap brush towel tap mug bucket living room door chair television window sofa bathroom here in this picture you can see wash basin mirror soap brush towel tap mug bucket so whenever your child is brushing uh, the teeth or having bath you can go through whatever things are there in the bathroom you can ask your child what is a bucket used for what do you do with the towel what goes on the brush to brush the teeth in the morning you can use the mirror to do some imitation skills you can ask them to wash their hands in the wash basin the last picture tells us about a living room in this living room they have a television window sofa chair door ask your child what they can see in your living room ask them what color is the sofa are there any curtains on the window Manu I can't lift you up you are too big you can't walk to school alone you are too small too big too small this is a story of manu manu is a small boy who is always confused because his parents and grandparents kept on telling him that is he is either too big or he is too small his mother says that she cannot lift him up because he is too big his father says he is too small because he cannot walk to school alone
a crowded mana. You are too big. You can't carry the baby to the park, Mano. You are too small. His grandfather says that he is too big to sleep in the cradle. Whereas his grandmother says he is too small to carry the baby to the park. Too big? Too small? How can I be too big and too small all at once? So Manu thinks, am I too big or am I too small? How can I be too big and too small at the same time? Too big to wear my old pink shirt. Too small to make too those small. all to carry the baby. Too big to climb on grandpa's what back. Am I the right size for? He is too big to wear his old pink shirt. But he is too small to make dosa. He is too big to climb on grandfather's back. But he is too small to carry the baby. So he wonders, what am I the right size for? You are just big enough to go to school. You are just small enough for me to carry you on my shoulders. You are just big enough to take me for my morning walks. You are just small enough for me to tell stories too. You will always be the perfect size for our hug. Even you can find out sitting along with your child what is he or she too big for or too small for. Make it a fun game. Mom says he is just big enough to go to school. Dad says he is just small enough to be carried on his shoulders. Grandfather says just big enough to take him for morning walks. And grandmother says that he is just small enough for her to tell stories. And the whole family says that he will be always the perfect size for their hugs. Even you can find out sitting along with your child what is he or she too big for or too small for. Make it a fun game. Thank you.